pills, a mouse, and a 50 bead. Nice. All right, over on the HQ side, we've got a big old E4 coming out, double bat chats, two IS-7s, an E5, and the uh, almost infamous now, cram wagon. There we go. And off we go. First match out here on Himmelsdorf winner. I don't, you know, it's honestly kind of interesting on how people actually um, like picking the snow over the um, night variant. So not so bad in the heavy, but you're in one of those bat chats. It's a freak's havoc. I guess that's maybe why some teams pick it. But that's the reason why I like I like watching these silver teams. Um, because there's more of a variety, you know, everybody has the same tank as all the top golds. You see more variety at, variety at this level. Yeah, you see a, a lot more people still try to perfect their technique, still try to get where the, the kick-ass goal teams are. And now, big role in that Moss is using that 100 octane, so uh, he's definitely going to have plenty of nitrous boost coming out of that thing, so <laughs> be ready to see him just sprint oh. across the map right here, fellas. It might surpass that 50B, won't it? This is very close. It's going to be a good race. Now, also, uh, HQ is a, a somewhat of an unknown right now, right? They're not a ranked team. They currently. are. They are not a ranked team. But, um, but it looks like a lot of these names that I'm seeing actually um, mm -hmm. ring bells from <laughs> RG. Yo, yo. Well, I definitely yeah, noticed a, a just, couple. Of, ooh, oh, good early Wes action right here. Be in huge trouble if he doesn't get out of there. Oh, oh mis I, misdirection right there by the bad right. chat in a 430. But. Looks like those guys from uh, BK just kind of got a little struggled up. I don't think they expected seeing a pair of bat chats low on the hill. I mean, I would figure, um, but here we go. So Rez is on the run. Bat chats, bat chats in his bat chat is uh, is on the yeah. run now also. So here's a kind of a yeah, weird on his personal. Miles is just now crossing the seven line. <laughs> like, yeah, man. Minute, feels bad. Oh my God, we're going feels about a, a minute and a half in, and yeah, he just he gave up. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm not. Oh, gonna big I, roll, yeah. yeah. I'd say it's if gonna this be math went real hill, that mouth wouldn't be up there. Yeah, if this. Was now we're looking at. Go ahead. We're, we're we're looking at now though the way that this is going to develop and and play out. Uh, we're looking at BK is going to have to fight an uphill battle right now. That I know that they might get. Especially if Freelancer gets around this corner right now, uh, he's definitely probably going to get most of his clip into the E4, but it's going to cost him the E5. Oh, oh, yeah, HK the with the hell, hell, the hell push should have the advantage, but they need to survive the next minute and a half relatively untouched, and then it's going to be difficult oh. for BK to push that hell, as Grudge. you've already said. Grudge stopped, and then now he's, he got tracked. Dirk and the E4 is just going to keep going. All right, so really, honestly, that was one of the most unproductive two clips I've seen from Bat Chat. Um, a lot of bounces. that was a smart move by that E5 and in, in uh, H by HQ. He he angled it up and he protected that that E4 from going up the hill. Like you said, bounced freaking two full clips from. Breezy's on fire. Bat -chat. No fire extinguisher. Red Rum, and also Big Slice going down. So Breezy goes down in his 430. Just a Bacon's about to yeah, come over and help here. Two, oh, HK he only had two shots to, left on that clip, I would though. Say, yeah, relatively easily compensate to control the, the hell point while that push is going on. So, yep. 30 seconds left Vanished on the cat. HK. HK. Oh, if that IS-7 just pushed onto the I, I, or IS-4 and blocked them, Completely. Nice, nice shot right there. The yeah, IS-4 okay. is oh. going to go down now. Yeah, and the E-5. This is actually right here in this playground. The, uh, the, uh, the sorry, the, uh, oh, I can't talk. Sorry, guys. Sinus. The Swedish um, tank. The, the Kronwagen. This is home. I mean, right there they had. That's mm -hmm. kept out. Yeah, I mean. There, was. there it is. But yeah, the Kronwagen being up there shooting down the hill. I mean, that's home. That, that Played in. Wow, this is really going way beyond. For sure, for sure. It is. 
It's in the bank. All right, guys, there we go. First game in the bag. Uh, we're not going to see too much Ooh. out of that mouse. That mouse did uh, not did. even get a shot off. Yeah, he didn't even get to the fight. Um, it's just as well. It's that, and with it being the winter variant, I mean, uh, you, it's you think it's be, they didn't expect the, they thought the cap was in the railroad tracks instead of on the hill? That's why they picked the mouse? No, I'm, uh, no. I'm pretty sure they knew. I, I, I just think Big Roll would have had a better chance if he wouldn't have ever turned down the, uh, exactly. the seven line. He should have just kept going and got up the backside of that hill. Yeah, he should have just. He could have caused a it. lot of chaos right there. Yeah, he yeah. he could have should have just gutted it and and that would have been the pressure to allow to get a lot of stuff off their bat chats, uh, the pressure off of uh, like Freelance and Grudgebringer. All right, so um, over here on the BK side, Bacon come out twenty three ninety two, Gatman, Breezy, Scruda, uh, and Big Roll all under uh, under one k. Uh, the pair of bad chats coming in with 1110 and freelancer with 1546 over on HQ side. Red Roman is E5, did defend off those bad chats, uh, but he did go uh, end up going down one kill, 1625. Um, the Kronbogen and both bad chats never really had no competition. They just sat up there and did the cap out. So, uh, Dirk though in his E4 definitely putting in some damage. Uh, one kill, 3366, 544. Uh, big slice and his yeah, is seven twenty four seventy, and then a ch big cheesy two kills two k. Call it good. Next round. Yeah, I don't see a mouse coming out on this one, especially being on the south side. Now it's even harder to get up that hill with that heavy armor. Yeah, I spawned a cop in the mouse is what two and a half minutes. It's not really much bother with. I want to say Honestly, I think, it, yeah, I think it would have been. I want to say hello. It would have been three minutes left on the clock if the mouse would have just beelined it. Casey, how you doing? Magic, what's up, my friend? Um, everybody out there in Twitch and YouTube land, welcome. Uh, we got some pretty interesting stuff coming down the pipeline. Um, we got some confirms. We've got some. Uh, contest coming out. We have tournament info. We have a mini tournament that you be able to watch tomorrow. Um, we have a lot coming in store for you guys, Fast and Furious, for the next probably four and a half weeks. Um, it's going to be busy. These guys are going to be spending a lot more time playing World of Tanks instead of PUBG. <laughs> I picked up Rainbow Six Siege while it was on sale. I always meant to play yeah. it. Good fun. Oh, it's fun. I, I picked it up for my kids for Christmas. Table, table. Yeah. Yeah. I was it's killing me on the... I'm going through the situations. I'm near the end of it. One of the maps uh, is just... It's, it's breaking my oh, nuts. the final quite, one. Final uh, I think one I'm one shot of that um, with the Spetsnaz guy. And uh, it's killing me, man. It's killing me. So... Is everybody going American on this tank bowl coming up, or what? Uh, it's going to be Soviets. I truly think yeah. it's going to be Soviets. I, I want that Defender. I want to buy that Defender. I just don't have 12,000 gold to play with. Yeah, no joke, huh? Or the, or the Patriot. The Patriot is a monster tank on PC. I just wonder if it's going to translate over. I mean, it's a it has more armor on the turret than a T-32. And it's running 90 mil. So the 90 mil on a T-32 with premium ammo is... Oh, yeah. yeah, well, that's that's uh, that's what I play the T thirty two. So yeah, I'd love that tank, but uh, I'll probably be going Russian on that one. Yeah, I mean, and so the Patriot. Would, I mean, the true breakdown T thirty two turret with more armor and the hull is actually a Pershing. Um, so you have the mobility and speed of the Pershing um, with a little bit more frontal armor than the T thirty two on the front end. Um, mm -hmm. what, more frontal armor than the T thirty two. That's frightening. Well, yeah, but here comes the downside. <laughs> There's always the downsides. Um, the, oh, si nice. the side armor is is considerably less. The side of the turret is considerable less. Um, the rear of the tank is paper thin. Um, it does catch fire. Um, so if you're running away mm -hmm. from a scenario and they put a properly placed shot, the Patriot will catch on fire. Um, so you're 
pretty much saying basically a T-34 in, in some senses. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I mean, but it is... Yeah. It, Does but, it have the same gun depression, or is it... it but it, gun depression? No, have? the den gun depression on it is actually, I think it's 10 degrees. It, it's quite a bit. Oh. But, all right, the teams are all picked up here, and we can get this going. Actually, I might... I'm, I'll look up that. Maybe it's 9 degrees. Um, here, I'll roll down HQ. Oh, BK and, is running... Okay, go ahead, sir. Yeah, BK is running an Object 430, two more bat chats, an IS-4, and an IS-7, so they replaced the uh, mouse there, and then they're also running a Kronwagen and a 50B. And uh, on the HQ side, almost an unchanged team, E4, double bat chats, IS-7, T57, E5, and Kronwagen, so they switched out one IS-7 for a T57, I believe, and uh, yep. yeah, I like that. Looney Tunes 73, thank you for the subscription. Wow, that's a, a follow in and subscribe today out of that, man. That's, that's real nice. Appreciate yeah. that, buddy. Uh, all subscriptions, all that money that we do get from it goes right back into the community. That's what uh, gets gets a lot of the special prizing out for 2v2 tournaments and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then also our giveaways. Um, last couple of giveaways have been Xbox Live um, time, so super excited. Um, with that, so most definitely with your subscriptions, um, it does it does do quite a bit. Um, and if you do have Amazon Prime, that means you get Twitch Prime um, for free. And with that Twitch Prime, for, uh, you do get a free subscribe. So either hit up one of our WNF um, streamers, me, Beaver, Nerve, um, TLP Weasel, can never forget about that man, and then also DWP. Um, so Mr. DWP. Or, or, you know, or you can just subscribe to Wednesday Night Fights. It's your, it's your, get, your choice, your pleasure. Um, so that's your call. All right. So let's see here. What's the strategy changing now? So it looks like uh, BK is like... elected to just go ahead and attack the hill straight up this time. Uh, yeah, bet Jet, a... Rez kind of held back a little bit, which is probably smart for HQ. Um, gonna be real interesting though. BK running three mediums right here. Um, gonna be a little bit deficient on some of that armor once they get up here and start brawling out, but it's just gonna be, have to be some really good timing. I mean, they've got four auto loaders right now. That's just, uh, you're asking the IS-4 and IS-7 to really take on a lot right here. But, oh, uh... Red. Rez or Batchat spotted the IS-4 and IS-7 on BK, so unfortunately if you see the IS-7 IS-4, they laid back a little bit while they got spotted, so they're going to be even later to the fight. Looks like Chicago traffic jam at 6 o'clock here over on the HQ side. They're all getting everything sorted out. This is going to be a monster push in this hell. This is going to be hellacious when they crest. Yeah, he's already taking shots. All right, we'll keep the need to good, good focus so far, though, right on now. the res. Yeah, up and over, and knew what they were doing. Nice. 383 on that ram right there. If they can get oh. bat chats out before yep. these heavies that, all that. get up top, they might be able yep. to uh, do some good right here. For, Breezy's <sighs> got to get some map awareness right now, though. He's going to go down. Good work on the two bat chats. Now he's stuck out naked, though. They're going to go ahead and lose that 430. Yep. Oh, yep. wow. Good Big shot for the four. Swing player in the back chat on the BK side. If you can get reloaded, you can cause some trouble and pop over. You can get someone in the back end to help swing this. It's, uh, nope. Done. Commentator curse. <laughs> Freelancer needs to get out of there while that reload mm. is still going. The rest of the team is finally Good getting up top, but... Uh, the IS-4 is getting shredded right now. Catman Jess yeah, is now yeah. taking on Red Rum over there in the E5 with the Bat Chat backup. Let's swing around to that action. Yep, two and one over with backup coming. I like that, I like that. 57 heavies on reload, so... Red Rum targeting oh, yeah. the Bat Chat and not the IS-7, so... Wanting to get Freelance I don't know if there. he's... Playing yeah, BK, blocker. I guess they yeah, they know the 57's on reload right now, but they need to get the E5 out. I don't know why Getman Jesse would not be. He's he's yeah, just bouncing he's shot not after not shot not. off the Kronbogen and yeah. the 57 heavy. 
The 57 yeah. Heavy's loaded now. Yeah. There goes his bad yeah, chat. Kind of sacrificed was... him right there. Yeah, the E5 was just melting Freelancer away, so... That man could have just spun mm. his turret one time, put one 500 shot into the E5, and um, now he has to deal with a fully loaded Kronzog, and, and he, get, Jesse's going to go down. He's not yeah, well, the, I mean, ultimately, that player wow. right there cost BK three tanks, and, and the yes. game, probably, because the, without focusing that E5 down, the bat chat went down, and Bacon in that 50B also ended up going down, so... All Map right. awareness, guys. Yep. Just yeah. More practice coming out Would of you PK. just s split it right across the top and push right across the top side, right into them? I probably would have. All right, so we're on the HQ side here. Uh, the, that pair of bat chats, res and bat chats, uh, coming in uh, under under a thousand. Sin in the Kronzog and thirty six oh one. Good night, Prince. Um, red run in that E five. I mean, he kept. 10, 10, 7. He was doing his job. Had the heat loaded yeah. and just taking out the bat chats as he stood. Um, I mean, damage received was 21, 14. So that man was only living on, what, 800 hit points? Mm -hmm. No, not even that. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, yeah. What, E5's 2200? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, 85, about 85 hit points. Wow. Um, Dirk, 2772. Big Cheesy, 2822 with a kill. And uh, Big Slice rolling in there, two kills, 1725 over on the DK side. Um, IS4 throwing up donuts. It's yet again, the IS4 is like the mouse. Big, heavy, lumbering, slow. Um, not If this was the night variant, it probably would have had a little more impactfulness. Um, Gatman Jesse, only 505. Um, that's kind of sad. Considering where he was, he could have he could have easily had two, uh, double that in, in damage. Breezy coming in with 1563. Sure. Big roll, 809, Grudge Bringer, 1000. Freelancer coming in with his bad chat for 2323. And then just a bacon with 2812. I love the IS-4 in pubs and stuff. But more and more people, like, when they see a mouse, they see an ice 4 they load premium. Oh, yeah. So it's just not as effective anymore. I mean, you used to be able to sit in the middle of the field sideways, or 45 degree and everything, bounce you. No, nobody's afraid to hit that uh, that premium round and just put it right through your front. Yeah, and the reload DPM, however you want to argue it, kills it in comps. Well, and that's the thing. It's one of those things that they raise the price of premium rounds in pubs. That's going to make comp even worse. So, I mean, it's a give-and-take mm -hmm. scenario here for us. Um, yes. You just got to, I guess, be smart, use your comp knowledge, which really gets you quite far in a pub. Yeah, sure. Or just buy um, the nameless and just rock and roll. Rock and roll. There you go. Rock and roll. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moving forward to this next Matt Mines. Uh, this was uh, HQ's pick, but by not uh, being able to pick any type of spawn out the gate, they are going to elect to end up running from the south right here. So BK should have a distinct advantage to go ahead and at least pick up one win in this series right here by being able to control the north. So was it... Uh, who's the, le the leader of... Uh... EK. That is I Am Great. They're the ones that he picked, I Am Great picked uh, Himmeldorf? Yeah. Yeah, Riz, Riz got back to me earlier today and said uh, that they would like to run mines. Uh, can we go ahead and uh, open the room for just a second? Yep. This is about a good time to do this. So, first time ever Wednesday Main Fights is going to be doing a competition for send us your best bids. Um, Rams, one-shots, arties, one-shotting, I don't care. If you flew off a cliff, shot someone, and then died, send it in. Um, we're going to be putting all this together you will get the prestige spot if you have the winning 
videos, you will be part of the Wednesday Night Flight commercials and also hype um, hype shows. So you will also go on to the WNF up and coming blooper reels and also Shining Tank Awards. So, um, <laughs> awesome. So, what you could do is, is uh, I'm going to be throwing out an email address here. Um, it's going to be readily available across Discord and also Twitch, YouTube, and everywhere we go. For this, you will send in your vids and you might get a shot at stardom. So, super excited. We're going to be, let me get that out to you guys. So, hoping to see you all here soon. And in the great uh, Wednesday Night Fights, I don't know what to call it. Well, what should we name this? Blipper Reel? Well, we don't, well, a lot of it's just not bloops, so, hmm. Interesting. I don't know. We'll figure okay, out yeah, a cool we'll name. The... Yeah, of course, you're thinking something cool. Elves and beasts. What's up? Can you look at Discord? Like magic. <clears throat> it's about you borrow something from Samuel L. Jackson when you absolutely have to. No, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> At Everybody in? Take our Himmelsdorf winner. We're playing Himmels again. They're just saying Rez. No, they're re they're saying Rez picked Himmelsdorf, and they're just saying HQ got both picks on that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, it's going through here. So, what was lined lined up for Himmelsdorf encounter was BKs. That's what I thought. It was. Oh, apparently not. Yeah, that's so, yeah. The, whatever map pick that H, uh, that, uh, B, because I posted that, um, Tuesday at 7.26 p.m., mm -hmm. uh, that Himmelsdorf winter encounter was BK's choice. All right, so we're going to go over to Murrow. Not bad. Yeah, okay. Murrow Bonk it is. A little bit. It's okay. Man. Stuff oh, happens. Okay. All right, so I did get that email address out there. On everything, let me double check over on the YouTube. See Looney over there. Had a question. Hey, Hills, do you remember the uh, remember last tank bowl where you choose the American and me and Pride? Yes, I know. I picked American. And I lost. So kiss my butt, Looney. <laughs> 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 yes, I picked American, and I I worked my butt off, in uh, on trying to do that. I think I got it. I got so many points, and I'm rolling around in my T57 heavy. Man, I was just going at it. I thought I had a chance, but waffles for the win, eh? Yeah. It was, I believe, last year the waffle was still uh, unhinged, so uh, I think that uh, that helped that out. Uh, a lot of people still had a big love for the German tanks. But then Russian America, yeah, I'd think it'd be closer, but I'd, I'd bank on the Russians. Still a huge amount of European players just bum around in the, the crazy Russians. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be one of those things, I guess. Um, when I do it, I guess something's coming out of retirement, and I, that IS-3 is going to start wreaking havoc on people. <clears throat> I mean, I have the IS-3A and the IS-8, 
IS-5, but nothing is ever wrong with the OG monster powerhouse of the IS-3. It's a beast. The only thing wrong with the IS-3 is there are 9s and 10s in the game. Yeah. <laughs> true. It is very true. Beaver, what are you doing in here? I thought you had to work. This is work. <laughs> this is funny. He's, he's sneaky. He's sneaky like Dex is. He just sneaks into the oh party. He's undetected. So quiet anyway. Quick table, table. Alrighty, so and also earlier this evening I did throw out a video. Um, my very first commercial-ish, I guess. For the Wounded Warrior Project um, tournament coming up. Presented by TLP and Wednesday Night Fights. Um, this tournament will be March 3rd. Registration will start January 24th. If anybody knows what that date is, that is the date of the Hellcat versus uh, Team Hellcat versus Team Beaver. So we're going to have that coming out on the 24th. Registration will open. It's $10 per player. Uh, so that it, with a 10 man roster, that's $100 per team. All proceeds go straight to the Wounded Warrior Project. Um, so, yet again, remember, I know it's 10 bucks, but it's still one of those things you can't mark it off on your taxes if you're that kind of weird people um, to mark off $10. But I, I actually know people that do that. So, um, come out in force, put your support, and then, of course, the winners of that tournament will be on hand with Wednesday Night Fights, PLP, um, the, the, the leader, and or the whoever the, the choice is of their team to be the representative to be live at the Wounded Warrior headquarters in Chicago um, for a, pre a presentation ceremony um, and also it being live streamed here on Twitch. And those members will be part of a promotional program uh, and commercial that Wounded Warrior does. So big giant, mm -hmm. huge. Huge things coming out in events. Um, a leak. Um, there's a leak going around. It, it might be true. It might not. I think it is, though. Um, a land tournament brought to you by WNF. Mm-hmm. Mm. Absolutely. Stay tuned Absolutely. for that. that, that Stay tuned for that one. Quite Mark. happy to Mark. let that Trush. leak you continue to be quiet. Mark. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> 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 I had to, I had to, yeah. <laughs> you gotta leave, leave some, leave some for later, sir. You can't give them all their cake. I've no idea where you got that, I've no idea where you got that information. Yes, exactly. I don't, it, <laughs> it was some crazy leak that came out. I, I think someone hacked my account on Discord and was like doing, posting crazy crap, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Untamed Big Cat. Why does that name sound familiar? We go ahead. We can uh, watch some Discovery Channel. So we got a disconnection on BK side. Uh, so we're just waiting. Rez is giving them an extra two minutes. Okay. Hey, we give Beaver a plug too, man. Uh, he's got like a little uh, five-minute video of some uh, some really good highlights with him and Wonky, man, that he just released. And uh, oh, yeah, it's it definitely worth a view, released. man. It's it's, it's alert. Oh, it's, it's not, progress. man. It's alert. It's That's progress, awesome, dude. Damn opinions it. on it. It's awesome. I it's cracked up the whole damn thing. On a uh, YouTube channel, not on the WNF channel. I got you. I got you. Hilarious. And uh, yeah, feel free to give uh, thoughts on that in that chat if you want to. Copy. Uh, great showed up. El Capitan himself of BK has showed up for the party. So, um, coming up on the next schedule, what we're looking at here. Hey, Beaver, do we have any details on which uh, teams are coming out for tomorrow for the Plan Wars? WNF Plan and CW mashup. I'm going to go and launch this. Oh, we both. Okay, go ahead. Let's Not do it. One second, and I can. Yeah, uh, you 
Let's see here. Really fast. H two rollout. E four pair bat chat. T fifty seven having E five pair of cheapdens. Over on the BK side. I'll catch it when I get the other side. <laughs> the leg. Sorry. I'll catch that. It's okay. Just trying to get through it quickly here. We've got so much. Man, there's so much coming out. And uh, that's so much information. Time. I hate cutting in on you and cutting you off there. I guess it's my job as a marshal to be the time constraint. Um, you are the man. So BK rolling out OBJ430, pair of bat chats, IS4, E5, and a pair of chieftains. IS4 on Miravanka. That must be one of his only 10s he has. Well, if he's a... Yeah, I was curious. See here. Again, that's the unique part about being in this category of silver. Not everybody has all the comp stuff, or what is considered comp tanks. Uh, are they on? Uh, HQ's bat chats, once again, are going to have to fucking... Going to have to be very careful right here. The 430 and the two bat chats, uh, I think... I think they actually got lit because it looks like Big Rule's actually turning back around to head back towards the forest right here. Or the Object 430 from BK is the only thing that didn't get spotted. In the Magical Forest. Out in that enchanted Magical Forest. <sighs> that means the chance. Yeah, the Magical Forest. we are tank school, poof. Yeah, they just disappear. Ah. I wonder if that's kind of like that that thing with the whole... Uh, the Japanese suicide forest where everybody goes to kill themselves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Nice nice Can't timing be. on that since that YouTube video <laughs> just got freaking destroyed. Feel bad for that guy. He made Ooh, nice mistake. shot in the sin on the gate. Actually caught his ammo rack, too. Oh, uh, HQ setting up in a pet traditional work. position on the inside there, and the E4 sitting on that hill, just dotting back and forth. That's going to be difficult to deal with for BK. Uh, they're going to have to make sure that push around the backside works for them. Otherwise, <clears throat> I don't know about the spread here for BK. I don't know about it. I noticed BK was very indecisive in the beginning of this. They sent uh, just one chieftain was sitting in the middle of the map, just in circles. He's finally made it to the battle. Now he's got to watch out here. I mean, mm. big roll needs to take. Bacon just okay. took a massive two piece right there. Good shot right HQ. there, by big roll though. Seems like they've got enough at the back to compensate for that push, but that's Stalker, that push is pretty much pivotal to BK's chances oh. of a win here. This push has Look to be successful. Look at the medium. Medium's going to push on the 57 Heavy in the back, or... We need to focus fire, get together, turn the corner, and kill. He's... Breezy 4. Big roll. Is actually four, playing four, two, that chieftain really well right now. Definitely have HQ's focus is split up here. Yeah, but imagine you're keeping distracted, it's staying relatively close, 86%, 85%, so it's a case of who's moving and when they're going to move. But uh, I fancy HQ's position more. Better position, in my opinion. That IS-4 is just getting eaten. Not as strong. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a real, that's a real rough spot right there. He Honestly, he needs to be over there where that E5 is. Is it, he's yeah. not able to side scrape right there in that position or anything. Here we go. Breezy's going to be. Black and gun dispersion. That chats is now targeting Breezy down. Freelancer's going to have to rotate out, but he has a 57 <laughs> between them, so it makes it a two on one scenario. Breezy's in big trouble. Pair yep. bat chat. Big Cheesy now has a bat chat on him also. So let's see how oh, BK. Oh, he's on reload. BK split them up. They. BK didn't focus Gritch, on anybody. They, oh, Grudge Bringer was one short. Uh, Freelancer has got oh, to put his clip doing? in. He just kind of stopped in the middle of that right there. And now yeah, he's going to go down. Before. Good night. Big roll and his chief. I think they could have had that fight 
if they would concentrate all three mediums on one tank rather than each one going after its own. Okay, Absolutely. A very big struggle on this. No one's the focus fire is not on point right now. This is unlike BK. Um who have been on it. I mean, they, they've been winning the last couple of games. So this is, uh, it, it just could be HQ, could be the uh, a higher team at this moment in time. Sorry, guys. So much action across the board here. I'm trying to show off as much of the battlefield. Grudge going down. Three on one scenario. It's been a big roll. He's a two shot and he has two bad jets on him. It's rough. Real rough. The biggest thing I've goes learned. Down. Especially when we've been scrimming against on your six, is the patience game. Is the team that waits. Oh my god. Way to make the mistake. Why, so why, the would, why would you that wins. ram an E5 with a back? <laughs> he only did 11 points of damage. He survived. That's the, that's the crazy thing. He still survived. Uh, the untamed big cat. Thank you for the follow. And that's it. Uh, HQ taking the taking the win, so high quality gaming coming out on top, and everybody everybody's having a lot of fun already here in the chat. So we're gonna get this all ready to rock and roll. I'm actually gonna eat down this party, and we're gonna talk about breakdown. So we'll see you back in two minutes.